Okay. What's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. Let's just keep it 100. Let's let's talk about it. Let's talk about a future showdown somewhere down the line between Errol Spence and Canelo Alvarez. I'm going to give my honest assessment and I'm going to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. If you get offended by what I say and if you get all up in your, your feelings about what I'm going to say, then that's just too bad. This is boxing. I don't got time for this stuff. Ain't nobody going to put a muzzle on what I have to say. It would be best for Errol Spence to not even entertain the thought of fight Canelo. He shouldn't even think about that fight. That fight should be far that should be the furthest thing, you know, on Errol Spence's mind as of right now. I got to tell the truth. I got to keep it 100. I don't like that fight for Errol Spence. Uh, Canelo has too much experience, and that fight would end bad for Errol Spence. I said this a, a couple of months ago. People got mad at me when I said it. That er It ain't no way in hell Errol Spence could jump up from 147 to 160 and fight Canelo. If that fight was to happen, if Errol Spence was to jump up and fight Canelo at 160, Errol Spence probably would get beat and he would get back beat bad. And I think he I, I think he would get stopped. And this ain't nothing personal. Don't try to make it look like I'm attacking Errol Spence or I'm going against the grain or some or, or, or that type of crap. I'm just telling the honest to God truth. That would not be a smart decision for Errol Spence to go up and fight Canelo. You basically got the same, you, you basically got the same fight and the same, you know, uh, outcome of Triple G versus Kale Brook. When I say Canelo would like Canelo would beat the hell out of Errol Spence. It's a fight that I wouldn't even I wouldn't even want to see. I saw enough to tell me Errol Spence can't beat Canelo at this this point in time. He can't. And it's no and it's no shame on Errol Spence. It would have to happen. Yeah, it would have to happen like that fight is like three years away. But if it happens within the next six months to a year, Canelo wins this fight going away. And I don't even think the fight goes the distance. Now, I know some people gonna say different and some people probably may make a video, you know, being mad at me or whatever, and that's fine. Or people gonna be mad at me, period. But Errol Spence better not even remotely Consider taking on a tall order such as Canelo. It ends bad for him. When I say bad, it ends bad for him. You know? Now, will Errol Spence eventually move up and way? Yeah. But Errol Spence is going to have the right type of opponents. They're going to put the right type of opponents in the ring with him. After what I saw, it ain't no guarantee that he beat uh, J-Rock. I think he could beat Laura. But J-Rock, that's a tall order at 154. But you never know with these things. I would be surprised if Errol Spence went straight to J-Rock. But anyway, we shall see. This is your boy, Town Biz. I'm out.